It's Father's Day and a great time to be with your dad, but also an opportunity to celebrate fatherhood. Male and female, God created them. The complementarity of a mother and a father is the basic building block of the family and society. We all know this. Contrary to postmodern thought, fathers cannot be replaced. Yes, there are heroic single parents and families, but the absence of a dad is always a loss, although one that God can heal and redeem over time. So how did we get to this point in our culture, where in the UK two primary schools worth of children are aborted each and every day? Much of this has to do with the commercialization of sex. Sex has become a recreational activity, just like any other recreation. But where there is sex, there will always be babies. With the commercialization of sex, men can avoid the responsibility of fatherhood and this contributes to a perpetual adolescence. Men live for the Xbox, live in constant narrative of comedy, who take little interest in studying the deeper questions of life, and sometimes they objectify women as a means of their recreation. As the saying goes, it takes adults to make babies, but it also takes babies to make adults. For our grandfather's generation, there was less money around and men were forced to get serious and to grow up quick. As is well documented, 75% of all suicides in the UK are men. Men today have a decline in happiness despite more sexual availability. Academic Mary Eckstadt likens this phenomena to obesity. She observes a sexual obesity in the West, a gorging on pornography which has indisputable harm, does indisputable harm. Young people exposed to pornography are more likely to have multiple sexual partners, use alcohol or drugs with sexual encounters and higher sexual permissiveness. Some might say, I'm not harming anyone. However, porn increases your chances of divorce. Men lose the ability to relate to, respect and be attracted by real women, not to mention the industry which is riddled with abuse, drugs, exploitation, physical harm and even trafficking. We have a generation of men who have in their hearts the potential for nobility, courage, integrity and self-sacrifice. We only have to look at our own armed forces as an example of this. However, our hypersexualized, money-driven culture keeps men in the smokescreen of smut, practical atheism and very shallow comedy. What is the solution then? It starts with you and me. Being an example of integrity and honesty within our sphere of influence. So when a conversation with the lads turns macho, ask them how their kids are doing or how their father-in-law is after his back operation. In front of your mates, compliment women on their appearance when they are dressed modestly. Be considerate of your friends, think of their birthday and cheer them up if things are hard. In this way, we counter the adolescent mentality and love them with Christ's own love. We can only do this through a life of prayer, pondering Jesus like Mary pondered him in her heart. We become like, we become like the company we keep. If you keep company with Jesus, your infl you influence your friends, no question about that. Today, it is Father's Day for all the men out there, whether you have children or not, because we are all responsible to the children of our nation and all have a role to play in the protection of the unborn. 
Let us honour women and inspire a generation of bold men of humility who can step into the sacred role of fatherhood. Happy Father's Day, everyone. And thank you for listening and God bless you all. Oh.